hey, hey, Cancer, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your daily dose of love tarot. So this is going to be a reading for my Cancerians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Answer if you would before you leave I do appreciate it and thank you so much for all of your likes, shares and subscriptions if you guys are interested in a reading that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs info is down in the description box below to my Etsy shop the link to my Etsy shop is there and let's see know that you'll always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that will bring you here to this YouTube channel where you can view your video for as long as you wish. All right, so Cancer, let's see what's going on for you and your overall energy. You have the Fool. You have the Four of Swords. You have the Princess of Swords and you have the Queen of Wands. Huh. So it looks like you want a new beginning. You're it, it I'm seeing a new beginning here that you're excited for it because I see you as the Queen of Wands. But with the Princess of Swords, this is my card as of late that is play with, if you play with fire, you get burned. So for me, this is listen to your intuition and it's right across from the Four of Swords and the Four of Swords is all about going within and meditation, right? So listening to your intuition is going to be very important in taking this leap of faith because if you do not, you just may get burned. So let's see what the Queen of Wands has to say. Queen of Wands. Ooh, Two of Cups. So there may be somebody that's coming in for you. Could be a Taurus Cancer with the Hierophant, the Eight of Swords. The Fool card, you have the Princess of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the King of Swords. Okay, so you may be making a decision about two people here, and you may be all up in your head about it, or it may be a decision about getting married, a long-term commitment, because the Ten of Cups is here. This could be with, like I said, it could be a Taurus, it could be a air sign, specifically a Libra Cancer with the King of Swords here. So tell me about the Princess of Swords. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Prince of Cups. Yeah, so taking this opportunity, okay, you are wounded. You're wounded from the past. So you need to make sure that these wounds are not coming in the way of what you know to be true with your intuition, with this love offer. All right. There is where you're going to burn yourself if you do not listen to your intuition and take this opportunity. What's this person's um, intention? Let's see. Ooh, seven of swords. Five of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I would be careful of this King of Swords intention here. All right, Cancer, because this seems like they're not wanting to um, stick around for that long. That's what I'm getting. I'm feeling like they want, <sighs> clarify the Wheel of Fortune. It's like they, they're giving this impression that they want a new beginning, but they're going to leave you hanging, all right, with the hanged man. What about this hair font? Is that why you're all up in your head with the, okay, the seven of wands, the queen of cups. Okay, so if your choice is between a Taurus or a Libra, go with the Taurus, all right, or somebody who's spiritually attuned. That's what I would say. Because the Queen of Cups here, which is you, right? I feel like their intention is pure. Their intention is 
to connect with you on an intuitive level. They are a little bit guarded from the seven of wands, but they are spiritually evolved, see? So they're matching your energy. Because I feel that whoever this is for, obviously you're watching this, um, you're watching this tarot reading. So you are very spiritually attuned and they're matching that energy. So beware of that Libra energy. I wasn't expecting that cancer, but okay. This is why the princess of swords. If you don't listen to your intuition, you could get burned. Okay. What does your intuition tell you? So if you're all up in that eight of swords energy, you know what that tells me? Because I've been there, done that. That tells me that you already know the answer, but you're not wanting to face it. That's what it tells me. So beware of your first instinct because that is usually the right instinct. It's time to take action, new moon in Aries. So you need to go with this instinct and boom, make a decision. Bam, that's it. Okay, your challenge is the chariot, is strength, is ace of swords, and is the five of swords. I feel like your challenge is pulling out the truth from this five of swords energy is, you know, being careful and having the strength to seek that truth within you and seek the truth within this other individual. What is your intuition? Because this is emotional manipulation. This is lies and deceit. All right. And it's preventing you from moving forward. So what are they going to do? They're going to leave you hanging. That's what I'm getting, waiting for whatever it is you're waiting for. I don't know what you're waiting for. Okay. <clears throat> now, the strength card here tells me that you're strong enough. <clears throat> yeah, the five of cups, the sun card. You know where your happiness lies with the five of cups. Hmm. Is there something about a past love situation, a betrayal that's holding you up? Maybe this has got you conflicted. This is what I feel that this is going to be the challenge to overcome here. The six of wands overcoming the obstacles. Maybe you were hurt in the past, betrayed in the past. So be careful about getting, letting that get in the way of your intuition. Okay. Don't let it cloud it. Okay, this is balance. So before you make any decision, make sure that you're in a balanced and aligned state of being within the body, mind, and spirit. Then from that space, you can be confident about any decision that you make, okay? And trust it. I'm sitting here giving you a reading, but if it does not align with you, then it's not your reading. If it doesn't ring true, it's not your reading, okay? So... Make sure you're aligned and then make a decision. Okay, I'm going to get a moon card. Let's see. Believe in the impossible blue moon. So keep those spirits up, Cancer, okay? And have that optimistic attitude about the future, about a love situation, okay? About a possible marriage because you've got a divine counterpart here, a king and queen of cups, okay? And that's very, very loving. It's very intuitive. It's very psychic, I want to say, very psychic connection, a very soulful connection, okay? All right, so your outcome here, you have the devil, you have the six of pentacles, you have the eight of pentacles, and you have the seven of cups. So I don't know, Cancer, you may be juggling two people here, okay? This may be at work. There may be two people at work, or you're juggling somebody at work and outside of work. The seven of cups is options, right? And it's very sexual energy here. Let me see. Let's see. What 
What is, yep, lovers. You have a choice. You're going to have a choice between two. The magician, this is your outcome. The four of pentacles, you're not going to want to let either one of them go. You're not going to want to let either of them go. Tell me about the devil. Seven of pentacles, the prince of wands, ooh, and the four of cups. Okay, so one of these people may be a player. Now remember, you can reverse roles, okay? You have to take it, whatever resonates with you. Here, I'm getting the Prince of Wands. This could be you. This could be somebody else that's playing the field because obviously you have the Six of Pentacles and that for me as a reader is juggling two. Okay, it's like, yeah, somebody's bringing down the house. Somebody is bringing in a tower moment, okay? So you may be getting an offer that you're looking at like, what? Like, that's not what I'm looking for. But you need to look again because this Four of Cups is telling me you're not seeing it clearly. You're not seeing the offer clearly. The Two of Pentacles. There is a decision that you definitely need to make and it may be about a home. Libra energy. Taurus energy and you had the Libra energy over here and this is coming over work. Maybe you work with this individual. The King of Pentacles. This may have to do with money or sorry, you have a Taurus over there. So there's a Taurus and possibly a Libra. So you have the Six of Swords. So this may be about moving. Okay. This may be about moving. You need to make a choice between two people and moving and stability because this involves a home. Who are you going to open your heart to fully? It's a, it's a work decision as well, okay? It's a soulmate decision. You may know somebody from childhood. There's a lot of passion here. Now with the Ace of Cups, I'm getting that this this love, this is definitely three people. You got the three of wands, the three of uh, pentacles, and the ace of cups. So what you want is here. What you've been waiting for is here within the three. But w which one is it? Who is it? Okay, what is it? Because there's a lot of passion here, right? This person may be at a distance. Maybe that's it. You have to decide where you're moving. Are you moving there? Are they moving where you are? right? That may be a decision that you need to make. So let's get some clarity and some advice over here with the Moonology deck. Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. That's absolutely true. And that's exactly what I mean about when you play with fire, you get burned. You need to listen to your intuition not my intuition, your intuition. So you need to go within. If you're looking at this and you're feeling something other than what I'm giving you, then it's not your reading. But you need to go within and find out. If you're questioning something, go within and ask yourself, okay? Because you are the ultimate authority over your life, all right? All right, so that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing the link in the description box, Cancer, if you are interested, as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me as well as receiving an unlisted link. Make sure that you're utilizing that link as that is the only place that you can order a reading is from my Etsy shop, Your Sacred Scribe. And it is from that shop where you will get a message through Etsy stating the turnaround time, as well as the email that uh, I will give to you when your reading is complete. We'll have a link attached to it. The link will bring you back here to this YouTube channel, okay? Where you can watch your video for as long as you wish. So you have a fantastic day. Don't forget to watch your Circle of Life reading. That is a weekly series to help keep you in line with what you want to manifest, okay? 
Have a good one, and I will catch you on the flip side of your daily dose of tarot. Namaste.